When I saw this wooded area, I thought, you know, 16 hours of building a 500 foot long road because this is unstabilized an area and uh, who knows what we're going to encounter. And that is just to get access to the pipe. Installed in the main only a month earlier, the Acoustic Fiber Optic Monitoring System, or AFO, had sounded an alarm. A section of 54-inch pre-stressed concrete cylinder pipe, known as PCCP, was failing in Forestville. Nearly five feet in diameter, this big main needed to be taken out of service before it catastrophically failed. It could blow at any moment. WSSC contract manager John Hoffman is a seasoned veteran when it comes to managing emergency job sites. It's something. It's an event. It's not a small broken water main in your neighborhood where we shut off two small diameter valves. It's a severe event. This is a severe event. This is no small matter. A 2,000 square foot heavily wooded area needed to go. A dozen trees cut, brush, poison ivy and briars ripped out. Then 20 20 ton loads of gravel trucked in to create a road, turning a forest into an emergency job site, all done in 32 hours. Next step, shutting down a pipe of this size. Well, the, one of the main functions of a job like this uh, is the shutdown. You know, we have our system valves have to be located. You know, they have to be uh, exercised in advance of the formal shutdown. Yeah, where are they? Well, you some are on the side of a road in a paved parking lot, some are down in the woods. Multiple teams within WSSC needed to coordinate. At stake, whether 100,000 plus residents in the area would go without tap water for three to five days. The systems control group runs models of the system working to determine which valves needed to be opened or closed to hopefully bypass the bad section of pipe. The customer care team dispatches numerous field crews to locate the valves and then uses huge motorized cranks to turn them. And until this 54 inch water main is put into the ground. Another major operation runs simultaneously, public outreach. The communications team is providing continuous updates to the media and public. Constant coordination with other WSSC teams and other jurisdictions is crucial. There's mass media, social media, the website and news releases. Information must go out quickly, accurately and be consistent. Our customers must be informed every step of the way. They need to know the best ways to prepare for days without water at the height of a heat wave. This was no small emergency. I would say our biggest challenge uh, with this whole project was number one, really getting to it and uh, as well as being able to operate the blow-offs that are required for dewatering. Very difficult getting to some of these valves, operating some of them that wouldn't operate, uh, just, just old stuff that uh, we got to continue to repair. It took 10 valves to make this shutdown happen, ranging in size from 10 to 42 inches. Those 42 inch valves take more than 400 turns to close. That infamous frozen valve, a 42 inch that took monumental efforts to operate and ultimately avert the water shortage. Once the valves are closed, eight hours to get all the water out of the pipe. The AFO consultant on standby, ready to confirm the location to dig. A hammer tap on the top of the pipe is recorded by the AFO, and those sound waves confirm the location. The consultant must then go inside the main and manually remove the AFO cable before the bad section of pipe can be cut out. Digging to expose the PCCP finally begins as WSSC calls for mandatory water restrictions for customers in the area. This pipe, it was uh, perhaps relatively easy to acquire and install uh, 50 years ago, uh, but it's a booger to get it out uh, on a, uh, a basis as such as we're under today, you know, 105 degree heat index. A pipeline of this size, a lot of weight, a lot of issues of what equipment you'll have, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, it's not a you know simple, small rubber tired backhoe job. Uh, something like this and the diameter of 54 inch is probably uh, in the class of 300 series machines. You know, a lot of smaller support machines and the joint, generally a 10 man crew. The new pipe is prepped, carefully maneuvered into place and the main is buttoned up. 
all within 16 hours. And then the recharge starts to occur, and that's about the same time period as the draining of the shutdown and the draining of the main occurred, about an eight-hour time period for this 4,000, uh, 4,300 feet of 54-inch uh, pipe in this area. Before the main can go back into service, the water quality must be tested. A sample is collected, analyzed at WSSC's lab, a process that takes 18 hours. The results are good. The colossal emergency spanning five days from building a road to lifting the water restrictions is over. This could happen again. Uh, who knows where? That's why AFO is so important to the commission. Well, on a scale of 1 to 10, this was about a 10, even though we had a warning because it's in an area we're not ready to work in. The beltway is about 50 feet that way from the pipe. If the pipe had broken uh, unexpectedly without AFO cable warning, uh, the crater would have formed closer to the beltway and created a severe uh, hazard for traveling public on the beltway. It was a beast of a job. Glad it's over, ready for the next one.